Here's how it works normally in Denver. When there's an election, like the one in Colorado next month, the county clerk's office mails you a ballot. Get your ballot in the mail, you fill it out, then you either mail it back in or you drop it off in person. But to get your ballot in the first place, it comes in the mail. That is normally how it works in Denver, in a mail ballot election. This year, not normal. This year in Denver, voting comes with a catch. This year, Colorado Secretary of State Scott Gessler wants to make it harder to vote. Mr. Gessler is a Republican. He was elected last year, and he's decided that this year he would like to stop Colorado clerks from sending ballots to everyone who used to get one. As Secretary of State, Mr. Gessler has pushed a number of measures designed to make it harder to vote or to register to vote. In Colorado's last legislative session, for example, he pushed for a requirement that you would have to show a birth certificate or a passport in order to register to vote. Because, you know, don't you always have your birth certificate on you when the nice League of Women Voters lady outside the supermarket asks if you'd like to register? Don't you keep that in your pocket or your glove box? That Scott Gessler try failed, uh, but he is not giving up on trying to make it harder to vote in Colorado. Last week, he wrote to the clerk in Pueblo County, which so happens to be a heavily Democratic county. He wrote to the clerk and ordered him not to send out ballots to troops overseas who missed the big 2010 election and have not voted since. He wants them to be considered inactive. Quote, as my office has previously explained, you do not have the authority to mail ballots to such voters. The clerk of Pueblo County says he believes the law requires him to send ballots to overseas troops in order to help them vote. The clerk told the Colorado Independent, quote, you can just imagine the troops have bigger things on their minds. When they have the ballot in their hand, they'll vote. But the Pueblo County clerk also says he will comply with this order from the Secretary of State. Overseas troops from Pueblo County who haven't voted just lately, who've been kind of busy fighting on our nation's behalf and didn't have a chance to respond to the postcard reminders, thanks to your state's Republican Secretary of State, there will be no ballots sent to you to vote in this next election. The Secretary of State raised the same objection in Denver County, but he did it after Denver had already sent out their ballots to troops overseas. In Denver's case, Gessler actually ordered the county not to send ballots to one in five Denver voters. One in five Denver voters who would usually get a ballot. One in five considered inactive because they had not gone to the polls since last year. Instead of a ballot, they are supposed to get a reminder. Quote, send an additional postcard to inactive voters. Such an approach will be more economical than sending mail ballots to all inactive voters. Just for kicks, let's look at the map of these inactive voters in Denver, who the Republican Secretary of State now says shouldn't get ballots mailed to them so they can't participate in the next election. Okay, here's where the inactive voters live. The redder the precinct, the more people who have skipped voting since last year, okay? Now here's another map. This one shows Denver by race and ethnicity. The white folks are in green. See the orangey strips? Those are the Hispanic neighborhoods. So here are Denver's so-called inactive voters, the ones the Secretary of State says shouldn't get a ballot sent to them this time. And here are Denver's Hispanic neighborhoods. Hmm. Denver clerk Deborah Johnson looked at the maps and she looked at the law and she decided to tell the Secretary of State she was sending out the ballots, regardless of what he said. Quote, this is a fundamental issue of fairness and of keeping voting accessible to as many eligible voters as possible. That's what the Denver clerk told the Secretary of State right before the Secretary of State sued that clerk, Deborah Johnson, sued her to make voting in his state harder to do. Deborah Johnson joins us next for the interview. Joining us tonight for the interview is Deborah Johnson. She's the Denver County Clerk and Recorder. Ms. Johnson is currently being sued by Colorado Secretary of State for planning to mail ballots to every voter in Denver whose address still seems valid, regardless of whether they voted in 2010 or since. She wants every voter to get a ballot. Ms. Johnson, thank you very much for your time. It's nice to have you here. Thank you, Rachel. I understand that this is your uh, first election as Denver County Clerk, and here you are getting sued by the state. Are you having fun yet in your new job? Yes, I'm having a great time. Thank you. <laughs> um, I know you set out uh, to mail everyone in Denver a ballot for the November election. The Secretary of State ordered you to not send ballots to voters who missed the November election and who haven't voted since. You have said that sending those voters ballots to is a fundamental issue of fairness. Why do you see it that way? Well, these people are re registered voters. I mean, they're eligible to vote. Why should they have to do an extra step to try and get their ballot? Do you think that it would make these people significantly less likely to vote or would it make it impossible for them to vote if you don't mail them a ballot? 
It doesn't make it that it impossible, but it just make it isn't fair. I mean, they have to go through one more step to get their ballot. We um, asked the Secretary of State's office about this today, asked for his response, and the office's response was that inactive voters who are not mailed a ballot, as you say, will just have to take some extra steps, and then they can get a ballot. And so the fairness issue, they say, uh, is settled by that. Does that not satisfy you? I, you know, I mean, again, these people are registered voters, they're eligible to vote, and um, Denver has sent these ballots out to these inactive failed to vote voters for the last five elections that we've conducted. Mr. Gessler's um, other argument is that he wants to protect against voter fraud. He's talked a lot about the threat of voter fraud as Colorado's new Secretary of State. Uh, in your experience, and from what you know about voting in Colorado, do voters who have been uh, called inactive but who get a ballot and vote again, are, are they more likely to be fraudulent in their voting? We have found that, you know, there isn't, I mean, I haven't found any fraudulent in the years that I've worked in elections, but also, too, I mean, the fraudulent comes in in the event that the ballot is returned from someone that shouldn't have voted on that ballot. And there's several safeguards in which they have in place so that we can make sure that it is the signatures are verified and that they are the person that is supposed to vote. Is there any correlation between those types of uh, processes that you just described and whether or not a person voted in the last election? No, there's no distinction between, you know, an inactive or an active voter. I mean, those ballots are checked the same for all. I know that you will be uh, in court for hearing on Friday. I know you, you plan to finish mailing out ballots to Denver voters the week after that. Um, if a judge hasn't ruled by then, by when you are mailing out the ballots, will you, mail, will you mail them out or will this delay the process no matter what? Right now, I plan on mailing those unless I'm stopped by the courts to do that. Um, we are ready to go in the event that um, there is no ruling. If, if the court says you can't send the inactive voter ballots or you need to delay it, do you uh, intend to follow the court order or will you be in a bit of a standoff at that point? I think we'll, you know, probably obey the court order. Um, it will just, you know, it really will depend on what, um, you know, actually are the reasonings and what goes into the whole court hearing. Deborah Johnson, clerk and recorder of Denver County, Colorado, uh, currently being sued by that state's secretary of state. I appreciate your time explaining this with us tonight. We're going to keep following your story. I'd love it if you could stay in touch with us, please. Thank you very much, Rachel. Absolutely. Thanks.